I'm just gonna have to get started because I've been faffing about for like an hour now, honestly. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited for today's video and we've got a nice, lovely background, not like my bedroom. And I've also upgraded to a light, which is really bright in my face actually, so if you see me squint in then you know why. And I've got a mic, so I don't know how this is gonna sound. I mean, I have done a few tests, but I'm just gonna film it. I've been faffing about for too long. I'm gonna film it, let's just see how it goes. So today I'm gonna do a video about my top five favorite perfumes. Now I am a massive perfume lover. I have been for about two years now and I just love kind of watching these videos to see what other perfumes are out there, other people's advice on different perfumes. So I'm gonna try and not make this too long. I've got my top five favorite perfumes at the moment. I'm just gonna show them to you in no particular order and just kind of tell you a bit about them. So number one, we have the Gucci Bloom. Now I really, really love this one. My mum and my sister both have this and I went to London last year and because they had it and I loved it so much, I was like, gotta get it. It's something that I haven't really smelt before. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it was one of those fragrances that kind of stood out to me. I'm actually wearing this one today and the best way I can describe it is it's a very like florally um spring kind of fragrance so that's why i'm wearing it today because you've got the lovely weather you know it's really feeling like spring and it's that kind of scent that kind of calls spring i don't know if that makes any sense but i've done done some notes i've done my research because the thing is like i just like the scent of them but i don't actually know what is in it so i guess i'm kind of educating myself as well as you guys as well so this is so gucci bloom is a floral fragrance for women so the main notes in there are jasmine tubera and ragoon creeper again i don't know if i'm pronouncing this right this is just what it says online so there's two different types of these bottles as you can see this one has just the white outside outlining or center and then you have another one that has like a floral pattern in the middle so i think the difference between the two is one is the eau de toilette and one is the eau de parfum so i have the eau de parfum and i think that's 50 mils yeah yeah so that one's 50 mils and i actually got that in the gucci store in harrods so again that's going to be slightly more expensive than if you could get it online somewhere but I had a look and on John Lewis, you can get it for £61 for the 50 ml. So this lasts on my skin for about four to six hours. Again, it's different for everyone. But for me, I reckon four to six hours. I put it on this morning and then when I spoke to my boyfriend, I asked him to smell me and he couldn't smell me. So that's when I knew I needed to top up. So I think that was about five hours after I put it on. So I've just done another little spritz now. So this is something if you're going out all day or if you're going out all night, it is something you're gonna wanna bring with you and maybe spritz on you two to three times a day. So Gucci Bloom is a really nice perfume, like I say, for the springtime. It's that kind of classy, florally smell. But I normally wear this going out for brunch, just like a casual spring, you know, like maybe going out with the girls, nothing too heavy. It's just a very light scent that makes you smell really fresh. Now, my next one, I have H24 by Hermes. And I absolutely love this one. So I would describe this as a very like citrusy quite a strong smelling one. Lots of my friends don't actually like this and I I, I never know why because I think this is actually my, literally it is one of my favorites. I can't even stress. So this is actually a unisex fragrance. So men and women can use it. You can see it is a very plain bottle. It's an aromatic green fragrance. The main accords are metallic, aromatic, mineral and yellow floral and you can get a 50 ml in boots for 62 pounds so again with the gucci bloom it's kind of similar this lasts on my skin for about four to six hours i'd say maybe slightly longer than the gucci bloom but this is a very very strong like summery smell i don't really wear this in the winter i only mostly wear it in the summer because it does it has that very like summery reminds me of like going out for cocktails being in the sun now this is a really weird description, but the best way I could describe this perfume, you know, like a mojito or like a cocktail that has apple and elderflower in. That's what this smells like. And I love those kind of cocktails. And every time I go out, <laughs> it's really funny. Like I'll smell the cocktail. I'll be like, it smells like H24. But yeah, that's what I mean. It's a very like summery smell in that sort of scent. And I would recommend you wear this during the summertime. 
Next, we have the classic Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. So this is a Eau de Parfum fragrance for women. It's an amber floral fragrance with the top notes being mandarin, orange, bergamot and orange blossom. So as you can tell already, this is a very citrusy and floral kind of smelling perfume. So this kind of reminds me of like bougie rich girl vibes not so much mature rich girl but very much so like molly may someone young someone kind of fun but with that kind of rich sense about them so i got this in the chanel store i think this is actually a 30 ml Th so this is actually a 35 ml this is really small and i'd really recommend getting miniatures on any perfume just so you can see if you like it this is also very long lasting i think it's one of the most long lasting ones i own and lasts on my skin about 8 to 12 hours honestly i don't really need to top this up much as you can see i've still got quite a lot left in the bottle and i got this nearly a year ago this is another classic one i like to wear in spring so h24 i tend to wear during the summertime however coco chanel i tend to wear during the spring this is a classic one if you're just out and about maybe if you're just going for some drinks in the afternoon it kind of reflects on that like warm weather that's coming so obviously we're in march now there's a really nice sun coming through all the flowers are starting to bloom and this is just what this scent reminds me of i'm not sure if i mentioned this but this is 86 pounds for a 50 ml in boots so kind of on the pricier side for a perfume but again this one has really lasted well on my skin so i'd really recommend this okay now this wouldn't be a top 10 perfume haul if it didn't have red temptation so this perfume is incredible if you don't know what this is so zara have released a perfume called red temptation that smells just like the baccarat rouge by 40. it's a fragrance for women and the top notes are orange amber and moss and this is an incredible price this is 85 mils as you can see a massive bottle and i think it's only like 19.99 it is so cheap and it gets better this lasts for so long however it's one of those ones that you can't smell on yourself so i know a lot of people tend not to go for this because they've tried it before and you know they feel like they can't smell it on themselves and they have to keep reapplying so i totally get that because when i use it i feel like i can't smell it on myself after a while however my friends actually have this perfume as well and they'll put it on say at the start of the day or before i see them and i can smell it on them especially when you go to hug someone you can really smell it okay my boyfriend's gonna kill me for saying this but this smells very similar to one of the perfumes that he has so the perfume that smells um similar to this is the mansira i don't know which one i'm very sorry but one of the mansira unisex aftershaves that he likes to wear instant crush so it smells like mansira instant crush and obviously that one is quite expensive, whereas this is only $19.99. So he has started wearing this to work. Not a lot. He's only done it like a couple of times. But funnily enough, I didn't know. And he starts work at 6 a.m. So he gets up at 4 in the morning. He sprays this on him. And then I saw him that night at 6 p.m. And when I gave him a hug, I could smell it. And I said to him, are you wearing my perfume? And he was. And I could smell it. And how many hours is that from 4 in the morning till 6 at night? That's 14 hours. Again, when I smell him, it wasn't like a very strong smell. By then, it was kind of like wearing off. But I did definitely smell it when I was hugging him. So for that reason, I would really, really recommend this. Again, it's a large bottle and you get a lot for your money. However, it is always sold out online i know people do resell it for more if you were like really desperate but if you go on the zara website and you notify when they're going to have it back in stock then they'll send you an email and that's how i managed to get this bottle okay and now for my last one this isn't a very common perfume for especially like younger younger women younger teenagers and you're gonna laugh like the reason why i get this perfume is for a really weird reason okay so it's called cerutier 1881 and it's an air de toilette so this is a floral fragrance for women the top notes being mimosa rose iris and violet and you are literally gonna laugh so hard at me but the best way i can describe this perfume is like your nan and i know you're probably thinking yeah but why am i gonna want to smell like my nan honestly this is just such a like sentimental kind of smell for me so i'm not sure if my nan actually used to wear this but it does like it has that kind of aroma of what older women would wear as a perfume so it doesn't smell like an old person but it does smell you know you get those like very made up like older women who go out for dinner and you can smell their perfume this is that kind of perfume 
So this is like a very special perfume to me. I love it because it just reminds me of my nan and my mum actually got me this bottle for Christmas. But again, it's a very unique kind of smell and I do like to mix this one with my perfumes because like I said, it's a very mature kind of perfume. It's very light, kind of florally and it does just give me those like rich, mature vibes again. So if you mix it with a sweeter one, it's just kind of give it'll give like two balancing nice smells. So I think this lasts about seven to eight hours on your skin. Again, I haven't really worn this much to be able to tell you exactly, but recently when I've been wearing it, it's one of those ones where I can still smell it on my skin after a while. This is actually quite cheap. It's not that expensive. I had a look online and it's 23 pounds in Superdrug at the moment. And I know that TK Maxx sell it. My mum seemed to think that they weren't selling these anymore. So that's why she got me a large bottle for Christmas because she, I don't know, she read somewhere that they were like discontinuing them, but she managed to find me a bottle and I saw one online. So I think you can still get them. So guys, that is it. They are my top five favorite perfumes at the moment. I'm just gonna give you like a little bit of like, I've called them notes. Just kind of some things I need to throw in there about perfumes and what I mean by like different things. So if you don't already know, I think you probably heard me mention Eau de Parfum and Eau de Toilette. So Eau de Parfum is a lot stronger and a bit more concentrated than Eau de Toilette. They just use different oils within those concentrations and that's what makes it last longer on your skin. It also makes it a bit more potent. So that's why you can kind of get a more enhanced smell. Honestly, I don't really know the difference between the two that much. I just kind of get whatever's there. So if it's an Eau de Parfum or an Eau de Toilette, I don't really mind choosing whichever. The last thing I want to say is I've given you a kind of estimate of how long it lasts on your skin, but this is just like an estimate of how long it, I personally think it lasts on my skin. Everyone is different. You might realize that maybe it doesn't last on your skin as long as mine or maybe some longer. Again, this is all down to the oils on your skin and maybe your clothing where you're apply it so that is it for my video guys this was so exciting i'm gonna be doing more perfume videos like this just because i found that i actually really enjoy this kind of genre niche i don't know but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and comment maybe what other videos that you'd like to see from me make sure you're subscribing i'm gonna be doing videos every week if not twice a week and thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video Bye.